Still Mills, what's the digital, man? Yo. P game, man. I just tried to make a video on my daughter. Turned it off in the middle of me talking, man. But we want I want, I want to talk about Custio Clayton and Jerron Ennis, man. I think uh, with this fight, Jerron Ennis really proved who he was in the division that he's like, he's official, he's here. I don't think he, uh, the hype is real. I've never considered him a hype job or anything like that. I don't, I, I don't, I don't, I don't consider him gassed or nothing like that. The dude is, um, he's official. He's official. And he's so official that people was feeling like Clayton just kind of went in there to lay down. I don't, I don't think that was the case in this fight, man. Um, I don't think it was the case. He, uh, he just could he couldn't, he couldn't get in range. He couldn't get in position. He couldn't get in punch position. And this is, you know, his, 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 his. His jab was there, everything was there, the combination puncher was there, the sense of distancing was there, the footwork was there, the switch hitting was there. Just, I, I seen him throw a, a combination of one, two, and then he let, the, he threw the lead uppercut off of the two. He threw the left uppercut off of the two. And I, he just, like, I think if that was later on in the fight, where he could have set that fight, that, you know, that combination up a little bit better, it could have did a lot more damage, or it could have connected. It, let me say that it could have connected. This one it didn't connect. He was just too much for Clayton, man. Um, I don't think it could be denied where Jerron Ennis is at in the division, man. The kid is an incredible talent, man. Like I'm not, I've never been like, man, I don't know about him. I'm just saying, I just, I've already been saying, I want to see him in there with someone, someone worthy. You know what I'm saying? Before we just say, oh man, he gonna go in there and wash Spence and wash Crawford or even a Thurman. I don't know about all that yet. I don't know about all that yet. But after this fight, I'm like, yo, man, this the level of athleticism I'm seeing from this kid, the IQ, the punch selection, everything is there. The defense is there. The, the showmanship is there. He's just the dude is an incredible talent, man. One thing I didn't like though was on the knockout, the commentators were trying to throw us for a, like. So y'all really gonna say that shot landed on the top of the head? I didn't know the top of the head was back here. I didn't know this was the top and this was the bottom. I didn't get. I never got that notion in my 35 years of living. I've never noticed that that this is the top of the head. And they kept saying, "Oh yeah, behind the ear." And now, granted, that's what happens when you try. You know, when you try and roll up under shots and dip up under shots, and you bend at the waist instead of the knees. That's the risk you take. It's happened to me before in the ring. Trying to dip, you know, weave up on the shots and be clipped in the back of the head. I don't think it's intentional. I don't I don't think it's intentional. But when somebody gets thrown with bad intentions and they're looking to land, you know, you gotta think we're used to, you know, the minute we see that small pocket open, we go for it. We go for it. And he saw that small pocket open, you I couldn't. Just it's, it's, it's inches and second and split seconds in the sport. And he got up under there. He saw that opening. I'm sure he wasn't aiming for the back of his head. Nah, but he did land it in the back of the head. Like, I don't want him to become known for that. Because even that shot on uh, Thomas DeLorme, that seemed like, all right, yo, bro. Like, that was kind of in the back of the dome, my nigga. Like, let's not get into that, man. But, none of, you know, nonetheless, man, the kid is a phenomenal fucking talent, man. Like, I'm, 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 I'm most definitely impressed by this dude, man. This dude is an incredible talent. I don't know what else to say, man. Um, I personally want to see him with the. I think this was, this was, a, this was the perfect test for him. Let's see him in there with standing on us or something like that, or a boot tie up or somebody of that elk. Let's see, because I, I, he's not gonna be at welterweight long. It's a big dude. He's not gonna be at welterweight long. He's probably gonna be looking to move up in the next year. He's probably going to be looking to move up in the next year. Come on, go lay down with mommy, bitches. So, but the dude is dope, man. This, this kid is incredible. Uh, uh, this fight validated it. A second round knockout <laughs> of a, a top, you know, welterweight, man. That dude is that dude is a problem, man. So, that's how I'm feeling about it, man. Y'all let me know what the fuck y'all think. And let me know what it is. And let me know if I'm bugging or burnt out, man. Deuces.